Okay, so now we're going to do page 364, number 18. Two tugboats are towing a ship. The smaller tugboat is 15 degrees off the port bow, and the larger tugboat is 20 degrees off the starboard bow. The larger tug pulls twice as hard as the smaller tugboat. In what direction will the ship move? Okay, so we need to know what starboard and port are. Um, and bow. So bow is the front of the boat. Okay. So what we've got here is I let S, the vector S, be the force by the small tugboat where the magnitude of S is one unit. Okay. And the small tugboat um, is going off the port. Okay. The port is going to be off to the left. And the larger tugboat is going to be defined by vector L and it is going to be have a magnitude of two units. It said that it's twice as large so we don't know what the force is so we're just going to name it as one unit and two units so we don't know whether the force is in newtons or what. Okay so but this is good enough for figuring out direction. So we draw the picture okay so we've got tugboat here and the small, uh, sorry, the, the main boat and the small tugboat going at 15 degrees and the larger tugboat going at 20, 20 degrees which makes a full angle in here of 35 degrees between the two tugboats. Okay. If I extend this line backwards here, if that's 35 degrees, then this is going to be 145 which is 180 minus 35. Okay, so that's going to be an important angle here. So we want to figure out what the resultant is. The resultant, we can use the parallelogram law here and draw a vector going this way. Or I can take these vectors and lie them into a triangle and work it out that way, which we're going to need to do anyways. Okay, so I've done that over here. So we've got the small tugboat, this force, and then I tacked on the end of that the large tugboat is this force and that gets me the resultant force on the, the boat on the ship okay and when I said this angle here 145 is important it's true because that's what this angle is in here so if I extended this on here that would be the 35 degree angle okay so this is 145 we know the magnitudes of S and L and we know the angle be contained between the two is 145. So from that we can figure out what the magnitude of R is, the, the resultant force, okay, in terms of units, um, and we can find out theta which will help us get the direction. Okay, so to find out the magnitude of R we're going to use cosine law. Okay, cosine law uses the angle contained between two given sides to find the opposite side. So we've plugged it in here to cosine law and we get 2.877 units. Okay, so we'll call that units because we don't know what the units are. And once we have that side, now we can use the sine law to figure out what theta is. Okay, so it's theta, so let's look at this here. We've got sine theta over 2, so sine theta over the magnitude of the opposite side equals sine 145 over the magnitude of r, which is this side here. You work that all out and you'll get theta equal to 23.5 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to take that angle and I'm going to redraw the diagram here again. Okay. So here is a smaller tugboat, a larger tugboat, and the resultant force. Okay. That's 15 degrees. The angle between the two we've calculated up here between the small tugboat and the resultant is 23.5 degrees. So we found that theta. So 23.5 degrees right here. So I've called this angle here gamma. 
So gamma is going to be 23.5 minus the 15, which will give us this little angle in here, which is 8.5 degrees. And now we can, have a, uh, we can get, get a direction. But it's a direction compared to what, the direction, what direction the boat was going in the first place. We haven't got a real direction for it, so we're just comparing it to its original direction. Okay, so the ship will move 8.5 degrees towards starboard, which is right. Okay, so that dotted line is where it originally was heading. Um, alpha is the, the angle towards the starboard. Okay, so that's that question. I ate a pie.